prescribed the usage over 14 days is for two months. That's what will last 14 days. Some need more, some need less, but that's what the recommended dosage is based on. So I'm simply going to show you on Stefania how you apply filarina. Now with Stefania, we're going to apply it as if she has a lot more wrinkles than you're going to see and a lot more expression and volume where we're going to give you a full application. Now some people can detail this and only use the application on their cheekbones and on their lips. So it's real squeeze a very small amount. It does get faster and easier with every application. You don't want to squeeze too much. If you do, you know, it'll just kind of run down a little bit and drip, but it will stay in place. The idea is to put it exactly where your expression lines are and that will penetrate into that area all the way to the dermis. And that's the uniqueness about the small molecules to the large molecules. Out of the six, the smallest molecules go all the way to the dermis when the largest molecules are the ones that sit on the outer surface of the skin and have the appearance of plumping and softness. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. So say she has some wrinkles on her forehead and then we can go right into the little crow's feet area. Just a little gentle squeeze. The thing I love about this also is some of you have a little hot, not some of you, but some of us <laughs> have a little hollowness under our eyes. And you know, a consumer who does injectables might not want to put it under there where you can put filarina right under there to help fill that hollowness under the eye. So just a nice little line of the filarina in that area. And then for the cheekbones, we really want to contour the cheekbones. And as Manuel said, with the average lift and volume, you can get up to a quarter centimeter of lift. That's a lot, that's very visible. And the volume on an average is up to 30%. So that's an average across the board worldwide, you know, with 95% of the claims that we've been able to make with people writing in and testimonials and studies and everything. So this is how we would get the contour on her cheeks. And then this is for the little nasal folds along there. And then for the lips, we can go right directly along the lip line and then right in the center of the lip. And what I like to do is just give it a little pat so it sort of covers the entire lip area. This product does not sting, it doesn't itch, it doesn't burn. The lips are so sensitive so you feel a little tingle, almost like the old bee sting lip glosses, you feel a little tingle, but it feels nice. It's very light, you know, and, and it feels really silky going on. And then this is an area that some people might have little wrinkles. They can just detail some of the little lip line wrinkles. And see my one milliliter is just about finished. So I'll go back and draw a second milliliter. And that should take me into the other side of her face. And as I continue with this application, I'm sure a lot of you have questions, but I wanna explain the difference with the grades, grade one, two, and three. We have our fillimeter chart, which helps the consumer um, understand which grade might be best for them, but it's not determined by age. It's determined by the skin type that they have, and everybody's so different. The difference with grade one is there are more of the larger molecules, which someone who doesn't have as much wrinkle depth wants the plumping. So that will sit more on the epidermis of the skin and they'll get more plumping on the lips and the cheeks. Someone with more wrinkles and wrinkle depth would have more of the grade three because there's more of the concentration of the smaller molecules that penetrate all the way to the dermis. So if you don't have the wrinkle depth and you use grade three, those little molecules don't have anywhere to go, you see? So it's really specified to the consumer's choice to understand what they're looking for. Grade two is sort of a nice balance of both of the molecules for large and small. So you're gonna get a, you know, the wrinkle depth and the volume. So it just depends on what the consumer is really looking for. So here we'll also do um, a little bit on her neckline. She has these little necklines and we'll fill those up. This is what I also love about Filarina. Even if there is an, a consumer who does the injections, they don't typically inject the neck. And we can look so youthful in our face, but the neck sometimes tells the true story of our age. So the Filarina is a great, unique alternative to be able to take care of that area and the decollete. Some people get a little bit of those fine lines in the decollete as they start to age. So yes, you can use it on that also. So as I go along and just finish her other side, if any of you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them as we move along. And Mary's here also. I'm here. <laughs> how much is a 14 day supply? Sorry, how much is it? Uh, grade three is 175. Grade one is 
And also, the important part is how long do the results last? So in 14 days after your treatment, the results would last three to four months. So that would be the replenishing time for them to have another treatment. In tandem with the creams, I mean, the creams are also something so special to be used as well because the creams also contain the six molecules of hyaluronic. That again has this, the uniqueness about this is, you know, we produce hyaluronic acid naturally. And as we age, our body breaks it down. The enzymes break it down. So we're really putting back what our body is lost. And that's what, again, gives us that plumping and that renewed, you know, fresh, youthful look again. So after her application is done, she would wait 10 minutes. She can do her household duties. You don't have to lay in bed and just be still. Um, and then we won't wait 10 minutes to be time sensitive for everybody. Then you just sort of press it in. You don't really want to go through any circular motions. And after that time, 10 minutes, you've had the maximum penetration of the molecules. And within that time, you know, it's pretty much dried in. And if it's a little bit um, wet still, it's okay. Just kind of go ahead and just press it in with your fingers. And it feels really nice and nourishing because it's also hydration. And that's the important part also about the water. You know, water looks for hyaluronic acid molecules. So they bind together and give you a lot more longer lasting results. So you can use your palms. And overall, outside of even the plumpness and the filling of the lines, the skin texture starts to really, really wake up and appear softer because you're hydrating the overall appearance of the skin, which is really important. You know, there's a lot of people that just want to concentrate on certain areas around their face, but we lose moisture all over, you know, so this is really important to do. After I press all of this in, then we'll start with the nourishing veil. The nourishing veil does not have any hyaluronic acid molecules in it. It's simply a setting lotion, something that's just going to be left on the skin. You don't have to wait any time. And it will just leave the skin nice and soft and silky. So say there's her application process. Do you feel it tingling on your lips? Mm -hmm. The first time I used this, I could feel and even see a difference within the three hours uh, in my lip area. It's such a sensitive area that I think that's the first kind of explosion. People really you know, are like, wow, I love that. And within the 24 hours, like Manuel said, um, showed on the slideshow, uh, you have full, full penetration of 100% within the first 24 hours of using the product. And a lot of you will see your visible results in the first 24 hours. So once a day, preferably at night, 14 days, if you only use one milliliter, it'll last you a little bit longer. So just continue to use it until you're finished. Would you be able to use like, your night cream with this or like after or how to like what order? What's recommended is if you're using the treatment at night, you really, the nourishing veil, and you'll feel it, gives you enough hydration. If you have very, very severe dry skin, then use the night cream on top of it. And this nourishing veil is a little thicker of a viscosity, so it draws up a little slower. And it doesn't need to be applied in all of the precise lines because this is just a nice finishing lotion for the entire face and neck area. So we'll draw up again one milliliter of this. And you'll see I'll apply it in little circular motions. And then we'll just rub it all the way in. Are there properties that are unique to this product that help the hyaluronic acid sink in? If someone wanted to use their regular night cream instead, would it not work as well? It, it will still penetrate. You'll still get full penetration of the hyaluronic acid. The advantage of the creams is that you're continuing that penetration of molecules. If they use another one of their creams, they're not going to get any type of other advantage that's going to continue to work along with it. They could still use it. We recommend to keep the penetration of the molecules with the creams. You're going to feel the creams. We'll let everybody fit the cream and my retin-A together. So I'm sort of getting the both of both worlds. You know, I think in today's world, we do sort of customize our treatments. We have our favorite skincare products. This is just going to give from day one to 14, you're going to get the penetration and you know, of all of the molecules. And as you carry on with the creams, it's just going to make your results last a lot longer. The creams are so concentrated that they're going to last you probably about, you know, three to four months, which is wonderful. So with the cream, the nourishing veil, we just simply rub it all over her skin and then she'll go night night. <laughs> what makes it a film versus a cream? Is it like a different 
different formulation altogether. It's a film. It, I, you call it a film because it's just a fancy word. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and also from a marketing point of view, of course. Yeah. You're talking exactly. about a film. Yes. A very yeah, I was expecting film. like something that you have to overfill. That they should continue with until they start to see an aging process in their skin. You know, so someone again who just wants more plumping of the larger molecule concentration would be grade one. More of the wrinkle depth and volume would be grade three. And someone who has a little bit of both would be the grade two. How does that feel? So you good. feel it. I feel it on my lips. It's tingly on the lips, yeah. and it, it's not bothersome. It's very comfortable, but you really do all of a sudden, you know, see in the next 24 hours. Wow, you know, they don't look as as deflated as.